Greetings. It's a gorgeous fall day in the Kentucky bluegrass. I am on today to do a quick sample Sunday. I think it will be quick. First of all, I got a package from the All Natural Face. I appreciate that this was quite a good deal. $23.58 for everything. Let me tell you what I got. I had heard a lot of people talking on YouTube about the eyeshadow primer and I wanted to go ahead and try that, so I picked that up. This is what that natural all vegan eyeshadow primer looks like. It comes in that, but no need to pick up just one thing. I also received a sample of the all natural face fix it. I think this is supposed to be a MAC dupe. I haven't tried it yet. In fact, I know it's supposed to be a MAC dupe. The other thing I went and picked up is the Try Every Shade of Foundation in your range. And I did the range pale to medium, 30 samples, 30. They have an amazing, amazing color range. I don't think I have ever had the opportunity to play with this color and shade range in foundation before. I'm really looking forward to it. And anything that's too dark, I can use as a contour and see how I like that. It goes from roses to beige to olive tones to porcelain. Holy cow, 30 of them. I put on the All Natural Face Foundation Light Beige Warmest today. One of the things I noticed is that normally something like this might not be a shade I'd pick, but my face adjusted to it. It does seem like you probably don't need these micro delineations in color, but what this means is you can play with different tones on your skin, and I think it's kind of fantastic. There are so many of them, I am not going to remember 30 of them, so I put a little sticker on it to tell me whether it worked or not and how it worked. I tried this today. I gave it a little smiley face because, yes, indeed, it worked. And so far, so good. It's not wrinkling up on me horribly. It is not as dry as, say, the Laura Geller products. I can tell you that because I have been wearing that fairly religiously trying to get through my Project Foundation Pan, which I've now um, altered a little, and I'll be alternating between the Geller products, trying to use those up, and trying some of these samples that I got in and that I really want to try. These are, by the way, medium coverage. I would not say that they're full coverage. Just to let you know, these age spots I have right here are very difficult to cover. When I did my day out and the Chanel woman did my makeup, she had nothing by Chanel, for example, that could actually cover these. She said, you might want to try Dermablend. I use Fusion of Color for that. I will do another video on Fusion of Colors um, various eye products someday because they, they're pretty remarkable. I, the more I use those, the more I really enjoy using them and reach for them again and again and again, which is always my cue that I like it. It was a sleeper for me. It took having to reach for it again and again and again before I went, wow, I really like that product. Ding, ding, ding. But I digress. I was talking about the All Natural Face, and I will continue to do that now. For the $23.58, I also was able to try every single blush shade that they make. Yeah, every single one. Lest you think that that might be, well, you know, four or five blushes, which would have been good. No, 24. 24 shades of blush. So I tried the Raisin this morning. Really liked it. It's what's on now. And I put my little smiley face. I gave it a B. Smiley face and a B, meaning like it, but to get an A in my class, it's got to be over the moon, something I really, really love. Very few products would get A's. I'm hard grader. So a B is a very, very good grade. The other thing I got was a sample of all the vegan glows that they make. And thankfully, it's not 24. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them received seven of those. Tried one today that I thought, holy cow, this cannot work. You got to be kidding me as an all over, really? It's this color called Desert Sand. You know, I looked at that and thought, no, 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 I can't do that. Yes, it's a B. I can, in fact, do it. Love the way it brought my face together. So I'm having a ball playing with these. If all of those foundation samples, all of those glow samples, all of those blush samples, the little pot of the e vegan eye primer and fix it spray. I feel like I'm on an infomercial. But wait, there's more. You can still get more. I got 10 eyeshadows from their collection and you could choose whatever colors you wanted to get. I got a lot of golds uh, and they sent me 
why not? As an extra gift, a sample of their rose gold, which is actually a darker uh, kind of reddish. It's in the red family. So I'll be playing around with those. All I can say is, what a fantastic, fantastic sample service. Definitely worth it. For me, just being able to play with all those different foundation shades is amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. It's, um, gosh, I could see we're getting that many samples of foundation and shade blushes and everything would be overwhelming because there would be so much choice. And if you were uncertain or if you're the kind to go, really, is that my shade? Is it like this or is it like this? It, it could be totally overwhelming for a nerd like me. Oh, it is just heaven. It is just wonderful. The other thing that I tried was, I stuck it on my hand so I would remember, I got these little vials of perfume from Veggie Beauty, Pumpkin and Poppy. Really, really, really liked Little Red Riding Hood. Bought the big size of that. Was trying the little vial of Cinderella. Like the Cinderella. So I see a big thing of Cinderella in my future. Really nice fall scent. Doesn't make me smell like a candle or anything like that. Like it. From Raving Beauty Cosmetics, I was delighted with that smoked amethyst purple shadow. I finally got to foil it yesterday and put it on. Yay! Had such a good time with that. But there was another color they had, which is this color, Peru. And, whoa, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eyeliner. That's what I have on today. Profound and classic shimmery purple color. Very, very nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I have to say, I think Raving Beauty makes the most beautiful purple shadows. I'm just loving them. And one I've talked about before, but I will talk about it again because I completed the other two. This is from a company called Masquerade, M-A-S-K-E-R, Aid with an E. This is a Canadian product. Meredith, F2 and you did a really interesting review and I went, oh, I have to try these, I have to try these. I tried the one that was like, I think it's something like Recover in the title, and that one was a hydrating mask. I used it. It was really amazing, really, really good, lasted a few days. I tried this one, I Want to Grow Up. It is supposed to lift firm and soften fine lines. It dried me out. I was not a fan of this one. And I tried this one, Weather Warrior, which is supposed to calm, soothe, and heal. This was also very hydrating and nice. That's all the good news. The bad news is these things have things like disodium ETDA and phenoxyethanol in them. Even though it says no parabens added, sulfate free, mineral oil free, artificial fragrance free, um, you know, no ad they have all this stuff that's really good for you. Finally, these are preserved within an inch of their life. So, very frustrating product to me because I love the idea of it. And that moisture mask was incredible. Bottom line, I might keep, especially that first one, the Recover one, uh, around for a rainy day product, but I'm not going to be using these a whole lot just because they've got a lot of preservatives in them. I promised a fast sample Sunday, and for a wordy, nerdy professor like me, this is a very fast sample Sunday. I hope you all have beautiful, beautiful days. I hope the fall weather we've got here is either coming your way or already there. I don't know if it's officially fall yet, but it feels like it here, and I'll take it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. That's it for Sample Sunday. Bye.